Hey y'all, I wanted to give you a little overview of making probiotic kefir sour cream from your kefir grains and heavy whipping cream. Usually when you see uh, kefir, people are talking about the grains and adding it to milk and fermenting it to give you milk kefir, um, which can then be separated into uh, kefir cheese or whey, kefir cheese and whey. Um, and you see that a lot, but something that you can do with it. Well, you can do a lot of things with it. You can make sour cream, you can make butter and buttermilk or cottage cheese and other things. And, uh, so I'll be showing you real quickly how to make some sour cream. You can see the kefir grains are in this container here and in milk before they've been allowed to sit at room temperature and ferment, the milk is going to still be, uh, nice and milky it's going to be in a liquid state and then here we have another batch that's been going at room temperature for about 24 hours and you can see um, it's thicker up top and the milk is not there but it's become uh, kefir cheese which is like this solid substance and then the whey and uh, there are strainers you can get to separate out the two if you wanted to separate them. Or you could mix them back together to make like a kefir smoothie. Uh, I also wanted to show you this container which has the actual kefir grains inside. It holds them nicely so that they won't get out into what you're fermenting. And I can put the link to those up for you. Um, basically, once you've gotten your milk kefir then you're going to just stir it back up a little bit and add it to some heavy, heavy whipping cream and give that several hours to maybe overnight uh, to solidify. So, for example, if I, if I take some heavy whipping cream, let's say I have a pint of it, and I add maybe a, table, a teaspoon of the uh, milk kefir to it, like that, stir those two together. You don't need a lot of the milk kefir in there. And again, you don't want the grains in there. You just want the milk kefir in there. And put a towel over that, paper towel. I went ahead and got the paper towel on there or cheesecloth that um, has a fine enough weave to prevent any, you know, I don't know, fruit flies or anything from getting in um, but at least there's some air contact which is going to help uh, make the process happen give that a few hours at a uh, room temperature and then when it gets pretty thick uh, you can get it in the fridge for another few hours just to really finish the thickening process and then it'll be ready to go so I can give you an example of that here that was done uh, as a pint um, with about maybe less than even a tablespoon of the uh, milk kefir added and um, yeah it's pretty pretty thick now stir it up a little bit you can see for yourself that it's got a consistency I was gonna say just like sour cream but actually this is sour cream this is um, real true sour cream not like the stuff in the store that's called sour cream and um, it's probiotic. It's filled with the healthy uh, bacteria and yeast and enzymes that you would find in, in uh, milk kefir. And um, from here, you can also then use this to make butter and buttermilk. But um, that's explained on my blog, but just wanted to show you this quick how-to of making the sour cream.